Hey Kickstarters, uh, this is Jacob with uh, TX Chip, and I just wanted to let you know about the really neat soundtrack that's going to be a part of the uh, Kickstarter rewards. Chiptunes is kind of a subgenre of electronic music that focuses on sounds made with low bit electronics, so like 8 bit, 2 bit, 1 bit. Just think of the Legend of Zelda soundtrack or Super Mario Brothers soundtrack. A common instrument in the scene is just like a Game Boy from the 80s, um, but it's not necessarily video game music, it's just made with a Game Boy, if that makes sense. Text Chip last year in 2013 put out this compilation of like 16 different artists, uh, all contributed tracks. And that was probably like my most listened to CD of the year, no joke. Um, just because there's so much variety and all of these people I've come to like meet and get to know and they're so interesting and everyone is smarter than me at, at so many things. There's um, people who build their own instruments, they'll be contributing to this. There's people who write their own programs to make music, they'll be contributing to this. There's people who take, you know, old, uh, sometimes broken, sometimes just unloved instruments, and they rip out the guts inside and they put in new, like, um, uh, new inputs. This one has, like, like varying clock speeds. There's all these modifications that people do. It's a pretty much this whole type of music is a labor of love and you can really tell with the music that people put out that they're really proud of it. And so I really love this group and I think that they're all talented musicians and they're really worth supporting um, along with a free and open internet for everyone else. I think that chiptunes as a scene and as a music genre really took off because of the internet. I know that it started with basically computer programmers swapping files across the early internet. The community is really driven by a sense of openness and community support. So, um, you know, about three years ago, I didn't even know what chiptune music was. I got on the internet, and if you just go to YouTube and type in you know, how to modify a Game Boy or how to use um, an 8-bit tracker. What uh, is a square wave compared to a triangle wave? How to re-solder your NES to make it sound better? The whole chiptune community is really kind of operates under this freedom of music, freedom of information, and I think that that really kind of lends itself to this broader idea of the freedom of the internet. and. Chiptune music definitely wouldn't be where it is today without the internet's help. I feel like our generation is kind of inheriting this awesome power of what to do with the internet, and a lot of people want to try and like shut people out of the internet, and that's probably the opposite of what it should be entirely. And it's really important, I think, to be sure that anyone can access uh, something as simple as the news going on in their country or um, finding out what's really happening across the world because there's a lot of misinformation. So I think what Brandon is doing is something really important for our generation and also for future generations because we need to know what's happening in the world. I bet a lot of people watching this have the privilege of having a pretty open internet already. Um, you can pretty much get whatever you want on the internet. So it's important to think that there's people who don't have that. So you might be wondering uh, what could be in this for you if you already have a free and open internet and access to all the news and channels that you would like to see out of the internet. Well, um, you could get this soundtrack. And along with that, you're helping other people have the same internet that you have. horror 
surfy music, really epic guitar shredding, a dubstep, surf music, horror, soundtracks, eclectic, I don't know how to describe it, kind of uplifting music. It's all original, it's people trying out different genres, different styles of music, and just kind of filtering it through these old, uh, discarded machines. So you should really check out the uh, soundtrack, and if you can, I'd suggest you get a CD, because we're going to play on something really special, and hopefully screen printing uh, the covers and make them really nice. So I think that you'd really enjoy getting the CD and not just the files. I'm Jacob Weiss with TX Trip, and I support internet freedom.